Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Shark IZ202 UKT cordless vacuum cleaner. What I want to do today, first of all get it unboxed, show you around the product, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. So first thing we need to do is to get it all unboxed. So we've got the instructions, and if you follow me on YouTube for a while, then you know I'm not a huge fan of instructions, so that can be put gently to the side for now. Um, so, this is the main floor head. I always like the different colors that Shark are making the, the vacuums in now. There's quite a, quite a variety of bright colours. I think life's way too short to have boring, dull colours for your vacuum cleaner. So what have we got in this one? So we've got a, we've got a, a cheeky little carry bag. So it's got the, got the Shark logo on there. Now I think things like that are really good uh, because the, a lot of vacuum cleaners, including this one, come with several accessories. And you don't want to be putting them on the vacuum. Uh, the, there's not really any storage on this vacuum. Uh, but things like the carry bag, uh, you know, although it's such a simple thing, it's just somewhere nice to put the put the tools and accessories when you're not using it. Uh, this is the anti hair wrap pet tool that comes with this vacuum cleaner. Uh, I'll, I'll cover it a bit more in a moment because there is a sister model to this where that's the main difference, and that that, um, that isn't included on the other model. But, um, what have we got? So, this is going to be the main one. Um, look at that, really nice, nice purple colour. So, something I would normally comment on in the videos is the packaging. Now, you see a lot of the packaging that's coming out of the vacuum, it is all recyclable. Now, this is something that Shark, to be fair, have been good at for years. Um, other, other manufacturers, I suppose, could do with following suit. Uh, there's nothing worse than opening up a vacuum like this and having a whole load of plastic or plastic bags that can't be recycled. Uh, even worse, polystyrene, but most manufacturers have gone away from that now. But uh, yeah, well done Shark for, for coming up with all this, this recyclable material. I, I fully understand that they need to make sure the, the vacuum is sent safely. You know, you don't want it to arrive to a customer and it's damaged, but then there is a way of doing it ethically. And yeah, so well done Shark again. Uh, here we go. This is the, the main body of the vacuum. Um, just got one more tool. So we've got, what have we got? Here we go. Cheeky little crevice tool. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, get all the packaging put to one side and then I can start to look at the vacuum itself. So here we go, this is the main body of the vacuum. Now you can use it as a handheld vacuum if you wanted. So uh, some of the tools I mentioned earlier, uh, I'll cover all of the tools in a moment because I did find another couple in a box as I was tidying everything to the side. But all of those can go into the end here. They just slot in like that. So if you wanted to use it as a handheld for things like the stairs or car or sofa, for example, then it's nice and easy. Overall weight of the vacuum, so including the floor head and then the main wand is around 3.4 kilograms. So it is pretty lightweight as well. As far as using it, you've got the on and off button at the top here. So you just press that. Now that's a really good design and to be fair, it's a common complaint for other manufacturers. I'm not gonna mention the name, where you're using a trigger system where you have to keep your finger on the, the trigger to operate it. Um, but this is a much better design. Just switch it on like that, switch it off. You, you have got different power settings. And also you've got a switch. Just, just turn that off so you can hear me. You have also got a trigger switch here. So if you needed to use it for maximum power, because there is a, a little label on there, it says pull for max power then what you can do, for the rare times that you actually need the maximum power, then you just pull that, use it for a moment, if you've got a really dirty spot, and then you release your finger. I'll just show you that. So the second switch is relevant depending on the surface that you're on. Now, I know when I'm using it as a handheld, 
then that won't be relevant. Uh, but just on here, it depends whether you're using it for hard floor or for carpet. Uh, and as I mentioned, that's mainly if you're using the main floor head as well. When it comes to the maintenance of the vacuum, it's really easy. When you need to empty the bin, all you need to do is just go to the bin and press the button and all of the dirt will fall out. I'll just show it again. So you've got a button just there. That's it. So I do like it when a manufacturer comes up with such a simple design. You don't have to, you don't have to take the whole bin off to empty it. Uh, if you did want to take the bin off, because on the odd occasion, then if you wanted to clean it, you've got a button just on that side. Press that, that will come off. Just pull that to the side. Uh, you've got a couple of filters at the top here. You've got a little label there to show you to take that out and take those out. Both of these are washable, so just give them a quick rinse under just normally cold water. It doesn't need to be warm water. Give them a quick rinse. Make sure they're completely and utterly dry before you put them back in the vacuum though. Uh, we've had it quite a few times where people have washed filters, um, leave them for an hour or so, think they're dry, put them back in the vacuum, and then that residual water that's still within the, the filter can damage the vacuum, and that won't be covered under the warranty. Uh, people have tried it, and manufacturers, not just Shark, all manufacturers are pretty clued up as to how these faults occur. So all I'd normally recommend is buy a spare set of filters when you buy the vacuum. They're not too much. Um, I'll, pop, I'll pop a link below uh, to get some at a, a good, at a good price. Put my teeth back in. Um, but all I'd recommend is buying a spare set of filters when you buy the vacuum, because what that enables you to do is when you need to wash the filters, it means you can leave them for a long time uh, let them dry properly, ideally 24 hours or above. Um, and while they're drying, you can put your other set of filters in here and just carry on vacuuming. But uh, that's what I'd normally recommend. Anyway, just pop that back in. So to clip that back in, that's it. Nice click into place, then you're ready to go again. As far as the capacity on the bin, it's 0.7 litres, which if you're comparing it to other manufacturers, this is actually a really good size bin for the price. Um, I'd, I'd always recommend having a look at other manufacturers to see what the bin capacity is on those as well because there's nothing worse than having one with really small bin especially if you've got quite a large property or large rooms uh, because what you don't want to be doing is to vacuum then after 10-15 minutes have to go and empty the bin then carry on, it can get quite frustrating. Clearly being a cordless vacuum cleaner at some point it will need to be charged up and of course you do get the charger with it now that just plugs in at the back. So you've got a couple of options really. So you can either just plug it in there. Uh, one advantage of this model, and I'm always really pleased that Shark do this, is that you can remove the battery if you want to. So you take the battery off. So I suppose it really, well, a couple of good reasons. First of all, if you wanted to buy a spare battery, then you can do, and you can just charge that up independently. So in theory, you could have one battery charging while you're using the, ba the other battery on the vacuum. The other advantage is that some manufacturers still insist on having the battery as part of the vacuum and you can't remove it. And all that means is that if you do get a fault with the battery or after so many years, normally a, a probably about three or four years use, then as the battery starts to deteriorate, then it means you're writing off the whole vacuum. Not the case with this because, because you, well, in theory, because you can replace the battery um, if it did start to deteriorate or if there's a fault with it, get another battery, and then the vacuum isn't a write-off, which is always brilliant. As far as the tools and accessories with this vacuum, then it comes with a handful of accessories, which are really good. First of all is this one. This is the upholstery tool. So if you wanted to vacuum things like your sofa or your stairs, then that's normally the one to use. Uh, you can rotate it if you wanted to. So if there is a certain position that you wanted the tool in to get into quite a tight spot, then at least you can rotate the head all the way around, 360 degrees. Next one is this, the classic crevice tool. Uh, this is quite standard really on most cordless vacuums and most vacuum cleaners. Uh, it's got a quite nice thin nozzle, so if you wanted to get down the, in hard to reach areas, things like down the side of your car seat or down the side of a sofa, then that's, that's really the one to go for. Next one, and I suppose this is quite an interesting tool. This is the anti-hair wrap pet tool, as, uh, as a shark call it. These kind of tools are called various different names. Uh, on the back here, it's got motorized pet tool. So 
even Shark are calling it different names, or Turbo Brush, uh, that some manufacturers like to like to call this design. But in theory, they all do a similar job in which it's a rotating brush. Uh, but the main advantage of this one is it's got the anti hair wrap technology. And what it will do is it's got different fins, so like really thin, um, like rubber fins on there. And what it will do is it will just stop the hair or reduce the amount of hair getting wrapped around this brush hair. Now, I say reduce because it's, um, although it's saying anti hair wrap, there is always the occasion where you might get some hair wrapped around hair. Um, Shark are never going to say that it's never going to get any hair wrapped around it. Uh, but that is a fantastic tool and I mentioned earlier that this tool is included on the IZ202 UKT and that's this model that I'm talking about. There is a sister model, the IZ202 UK and the main difference is this. So T in theory stands for turbo brush. Uh, so if you want that and personally I think this is a really good tool and I'd recommend going for this one. Now you will find that Shark have a high-low pricing model. That's standard, uh, I think whether it's across the world, but I know certainly within the UK. So you will find that the IZ202 UK and the UKT model will have a high-low pricing. Sometimes it works in favour of this model, the UKT, but if the price is high on this model, personally I'll just wait a little bit, because uh, what you could find it will reduce so that this model is slightly less than the UK model and at least you get the turbo brush included with it. While I'm talking about anti hair wrap technology, this is the main floor head. Um, I'm pleased to say that Jacques have put it on the main floor head as well. And you can see it's, it's a slightly enhanced brush at the bottom. So as well as the rubber fins, you've actually got the thin uh, bristles as well. And that's a, this is a fantastic design. Uh, I've known of so many people who've complimented Jacques and uh, have had really good results from the, the anti hair wrap uh, technology. And it is something that other manufacturers are following suit now. They're starting to not copy the technology, clearly they can't call it anti hair wrap, uh, but they're, they're realising that the, the market for this kind of technology is huge. But uh, you have got little LED lights on the front here. If you do want to take the brush out, uh, if you just want to clean it or just uh, unwrap some hair that is wrapped around it because as I mentioned with the other tool it's not bulletproof um, you will always find that there could be some hair wrapped around it but if you did want to take this out then you have just got a couple of slots in here so just get a coin pop it in there take that out and then it just nice and easy access to get the brush out uh, as far as the the wand itself so this will just connect into the top here like that make sure you get it the right way and as far as the main floor head that just clicks into place uh, nice and easy so when you wanted to take those out just press the button and then that will just release like that you do have the option so if you wanted to use some of these tools uh, well if you wanted to use this for example so you can just pop the tools in there so if you had cobwebs up in the corner, then you've always got that option. Now, one of the beauties of this, when it comes to storage, is that you can actually fold the whole vacuum in half. I'll just show you that, because this is a really good design. So that's the vacuum itself. And if you press this, then it will let's just pop it on here. There we are, just reduces it pretty much by half and several good reasons first of all you don't have to wall mount it because some manufacturers are still um, I suppose insisting that you wall mount it I suppose you don't have to but the whole the, the whole way it's designed is to put it on the wall and some people don't want that so if you either didn't have the tools or if you didn't have the inclination to put it on the wall if you're in a rented property you don't want to make holes in the wall whatever it is then Shark are really cottoned onto this and I must say it does go down really well with customers. So when it comes to storing the vacuum, then it just folds it in half. Uh, plus it means you don't have to lean it up against something because there are still some manufacturers that don't provide a wall bracket with the stick type vacuums. And they're not really thinking about the storage. But a couple of other things to mention. First thing is that this has a 40 minute runtime. Now 40 minutes nowadays is pretty average. So it's not, it's not the longest on the market, but it's certainly not the shortest. Uh, 
you will find that 40 minutes is actually pretty good uh, for the average time of vacuum in a room or a couple of rooms then 40 minutes should be more than enough. Clearly that will first of all depend on the surface that you're vacuuming on. So if you're vacuuming on say a, a laminate floor um, on the lowest power setting then that 40 minutes should be easily achievable. If you're vacuuming on say a heavy duty carpet, uh, especially if you're using the trigger that I showed you earlier where you, you're boosting the suction then you're not going to get anywhere near the 40 minutes. So that's just really trial and error. Next thing is the warranty on the vacuum. At this time, this comes with a five year warranty. There are certain limitations on it, uh, but five years on a cordless vacuum is actually really good. Uh, so that's something I'd have a look at. As I say, that's at the moment, I'm not saying it's always going to be on. So if Shark do decide to take it off, then uh, don't blame me. It's just at the time of recording this video, then it's got a five year warranty which is really good because it means that Shark have got confidence in their reliability and they're willing to back that up with the warranty. If you are thinking about buying one of these models, either the RZ202 UKT or the UK model, then I have provided a couple of links below to show you where to get them at competitive prices. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Shark RZ202 UKT cordless vacuum cleaner. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, click subscribe and leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video. I know I've not done a demonstration of it, uh, but all I wanted to do was to just go give you an overview as to what the vacuum cleaner has, things like the features and benefits, uh, rather than concentrating on uh, actually giving a demonstration of it. Sometimes the video gets a little bit too long. That's somewhat to, some of our subscribers have commented on before. But uh, anyway, if you have got any questions on it, then just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you because I've got this one on display at the moment. Anyway, if you have got one of these, either the, the 202 or the, the UKT or the UK model, or even the previous model, the 201, then let me know what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.